Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea and this is my crafty life. So today we are going to be making a, I guess it's called a car charm or a car tassel. It's like one of those, um, it's like a charm that you would hang from your rear view mirror. So that's what we're gonna be making today. So first we're gonna go over the materials that we're gonna be using. And I'm gonna let you know where I purchased everything from. So first we are going to need our acrylic blanks. So I already opened this, but I did wanna show you what the packaging looks like. So this is the acrylic blanks that I purchased. Um, I already took one out. These are four inches, hopefully you can see that. It has a hole in the top and in the bottom, which I like because we're gonna be hanging it from the top and we're gonna be attaching a tassel at the bottom. Um, these came in a pack of six. I got them from Hobby Lobby and it was only $2.79 for a pack of six. So I thought that was a really good deal for what you get. You can make six of them and you get a lot for that cost. So when I saw these, I had to grab them. So that is going to be the main component of our craft that we're going to be making today. And secondly, we have our tassels. Um, originally, I did want the type of tassels that I saw in the picture here but I couldn't find any locally. They do sell these on Amazon. So here is a better view. It's like a layered tassel, if that will focus. It's like a layered tassel, but the ones that I got, it's just a one color tassel. These I did purchase from Michaels. And they came in a pack of 16 and they just have two of each color, which they're still really nice. They're still really long and they come with gold hardware, which I thought was really cute. That's the second thing we're going to be using. And I also got some elastic cording, which this one is a half millimeter elastic cording. They do come in different sizes. I purchased the white. I also purchased black which depending on what color of the design, you can purchase black as well. Um, I, I purchased the one millimeter as well if you want something a little bit thicker. Um, this was a five yard and this is a 75 yard. So I'm gonna be using this half millimeter. Um, actually, you know what? With the color of the design, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the black. Um, it is thicker and we're gonna be using black vinyl. So I think I'll go ahead and use the black today. So we'll use this one today. We are also gonna be using some of these soft beads. They're like, um, these beads are, I guess they're made of, I guess they're silicone beads. I got these from Dollar Tree. Um, this was my first time seeing them. I saw these two. These were the only ones that I saw. Of course, these can be purchased on Amazon. I've seen them on Timu Sheen. You can find them in lots of different places. But these are, that's what they look like. They've got purple, pink, blue, yellow, white. And these have more of a tie dyed look to them and so I'm only going to be using the solid colors out of this pack so we're going to use these and we are also going to be using some of these gold jump rings um, I just already have this multi-pack that I got from Amazon it's just silver and gold ones and they come in different sizes and I got it in this pack that has this little set that makes it easier to put the jump rings on. You don't necessarily need this, but I use this when I make keychains. So I already have this. So we're going to be using this today. 
and then you'll need some vinyl as well I already pre-cut the design we're just going to be weeding it and then of course um, some transfer paper you'll need that as well to apply the design um, and other than that that's going to be all that we are going to need this is going to be a really easy design um, I just need to grab my weeding tool so that we can go ahead and weed the design so let's get started so the design that we're going to be using is going to be just a leopard print you may not be able to see that but I saw this and immediately thought of all the different designs that you could put on this let's see how well did this cut good so we're just gonna go with like a half leopard and then this one just says mama I'm just gonna put this on the other side and before I chose this font I really should have thought about how finely how fine the details were so hopefully it works okay little piece so that worked out good so now let's go ahead and get our transfer tape These would also make a cute Mother's Day gift. Um, doesn't necessarily even have to be like for your own mom. If you know someone that's a mom that likes things that just say mama, it'd be a really cute, inexpensive gift. All right, let's get our transfer tape ready. and of course if you really want to get fancy with this idea you could add some resin some UV resin to it and add some color to the to the acrylic and make it even cuter if you really wanted to. I thought about doing that, but I just wanted to see how the first one turns out. Um, but I may do that later to some other ones. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make this one and give this one away or if I'm gonna make this for myself and keep it. I haven't really decided yet, but I really like leopard print. So this one may be for me, but who knows? We'll see later. just see how easy this is uh oh make sure that didn't 
Yeah, we're still good. How easy this is turning out to be. Um, I think this has like a plastic film over it, or hopefully it does. So let's see. Yeah, it looks like it does. So it comes with a plastic film over the um, acrylic, usually to protect it from scratches. So you can go ahead and take that off. And then now if you want, you can just peel off a little bit and line up your piece with where you want to get it on. I sized this so that it was exactly about two inches halfway. So I'm gonna try and get it like right on the right on the edge because that's just how I sized it. And actually, I think I'm just going to take this whole thing off because I think it'll be easier with how I sized it just to make sure that I'm getting it right. kind of got it over my hole a little bit but that can be fixed I didn't quite line it up exactly but that's okay that where you want it press down good and then remember we have that protective piece on the back that we need to take off. So there is that and then we still have that piece through here. So we are going to go with the pink because I'm going with pink and black. So I'm going to take out, I don't know if I'm going to go with two. So I don't know if I'm going to go with two or three. So I'm going to go ahead and just take out the three of those. 
And then I'm going to take out my pink tassel. I'm just going to go with the biggest ring. So first I just put the jump ring on here on the tassel and then we just um, put the tassel on the then we can put the tassel on here so I'm just gonna use this to hold this open So there is that. We have to go on there with the exacto knife to get the rest of that vinyl. So there's that. And then now we have to get our cord. So how I planned on doing this is hmm. looping it through here like that. taking my beads and then putting them through here. But I didn't think about this fitting through here. So let's see if this fits with the two. So it does fit, you just have to kind of push it through.
the second one going through we just gotta feed it feed it through there we go and then let's see if we can get the third one to go through There we go. So that one is going through now. Okay. And then I'm just gonna snip it so it's even. And then tie it off. I'm just going to tie it off in the end like this. And that is the end. Let's see it there so you can see it. Zoom in a little bit. Let's see if I can. Put something behind it so you can see it better. And that is the finished product. And this can just be hung on your rear view mirror. Again, this can be done in any color. You can make it as complicated or simple. As you want um, but I just thought this would be a really cute idea very inexpensive if you want to make this and gift it to someone but um, you can just make this design in any kind of way you can put a scripture on it you can put a name you can just do it however you want so thank you so much for watching this video today if you would please give this video a thumbs up please leave me a comment and let me know what you think and also please subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos as I make them and turn the notification bell on so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video again thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one bye